that is that is the dictionary definition of a tough act to follow. That's unbelievable. So, macchiato. Macchiato is not a giant bucket of high fructose corn syrup and a tiny bit of coffee. It is actually a very elegant little drink. A couple shots of espresso, some foam. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, and it's actually by you know what coffee shops are measured by. Tea. There's a difference between tea. There's a delineation between tea. White tea, green tea, oolong tea, black tea. It all goes through an oxidation process, just like the browning of an apple. My name is Chris Rosen. I'm co-owner of Atlas Purveyors here in Boulder. And I'm talking about perspective as it relates to distinctions. And those, those were the only uh, distinctions I had to concern myself with until I got my heart broken. It was ripped out of me this summer. Pretty blonde girl, blue eyes. It was, uh, it was tough. She eats boys for sport. I knew there were women like this out there, but then I found one. So as a result, I made up a new word. It's called girl cot. I went on a girl cot. And this is actually my take on the definition of boycott, in case the connection wasn't made. Uh, it turns out boycott was actually invented by this guy, this guy named Boycott. He was like, I'm not doing this. And they're like, all right, well, we're naming the shit after you. This is awesome. So, <laughs> distinctions. There's a distinction between, you are single. Single is awesome. You are a superman. You can have as much fun as you want. No limits, no time, no nothing. But again, the distinction is between single and available. I am so unbelievably unavailable, it's not even funny. Do you know how great salt is for, or tears are for salting your to-go meals alone at home? So good, it saves money too. So again, not available. Now alone, alone is awesome. Lone wolf, play guitar naked. So much fun, so much fun. But again, there's a distinction. And the distinction is between being alone and lonely. Lonely is a very sad place. Sometimes you feel like Waldo. But where is Waldo? Somewhere really, really bad. Really bad. And all these things are great. All these things are great. Then you find yourself trying to find your... Where are you? What is going on? How do I like this? Am I single? I'm alone? What's going on? So you start comparing things. There's a dinner receipt on the left. When I am alone, I am single. It's for Taco Bell, $6.38. On the right-hand side, dinner receipt for $400. Slides are going fast. This is my Netflix queue when I'm in a relationship. <laughs> Wild things. Awesome, number five. Fried green tomatoes wasn't too bad but I had to get through that crap. This is my Netflix queue when I'm alone. Wild things still on there. Yes. So you change up, change up your gym routine. You're alone, you're walking around, attracting women, maybe. Depends if you want to get out of the girl cot at some point. So you work your upper body, it's attracting it. You're the, you're the, you're the male, you're the male. Then you get into a relationship. You start working on different parts of your body, like your lower body. So instead of looking jacked, you can jack and maintain the relationship. <laughs> totally different, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you look like, lights are off, doesn't matter. So how do you figure out all of these things? You use science, science. The constant variable relationship. When you're alone, lonely, single, unavailable, you feel like the world is the constant. You're bouncing all over the place. Everything, everything controls you. But you have to change that. You have to be the one in control, including controlling your own reactions to what comes to you. That is where you find yourself in the center. And all of these, all of these variables come to you once you become the center, as evidenced by this misconnection that I received, oh, a couple months ago. It's a very lovely, lovely woman. She writes about wanting to mother me. She wants to, she thinks I'm really sweet. I have this gentle aura. You no, know, it's kind of inviting. Kind of inviting. And then at the end, she says, I want to pin you down. That is a variable. That is a variable. And everyone asked me, do you want to, do you want to, did you meet her? I was like, no, I don't need either of those things in my life. Not together, separate maybe, but not together. So then I find myself at the intersection of comfortable, happy, and confident. And it's a wonderful thing. It's a three-way intersection. It's, it's where you find yourself. And now that I've found myself, 
I found someone else, and she is absolutely wonderful, and I have never been so happy in my entire life. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.